at the Welcome Center, we were given this handy uh, guide for currently when things were open. And uh, this number one matches the map. Jean Baptiste Valley House and Garden was free, but it was only open from 2 to 3.30, so we had to be careful to be there right on time. And so here is what it says about the Jean Baptiste Valley House on the uh, brochure, circa 1790s vertical log structure. And number one on the map is right here across from the Welcome Center. The Mississippi River is along here. Jean Baptiste Valley House. I absolutely love the French Garden. I've been here during the um, garden t walk tour before. It's so beautiful. The French apparently liked everything symmetrical. So this was Felix Valet Jr. No, this is actually Jean Baptiste Valet Felix's father. Francois the First. Right. Francois the Second. And then Jean Baptiste Valet. Oh. Uh, so Francois the First was Jean Baptiste's brother. Francois the Second was Felix's father. So Francois the Second was Jean Baptiste's brother. And Francois the Second was Commandant before Jean Baptiste. Uh, so this is the Jean Baptiste Valet house. Uh, it was built in 1794 for Jean Baptiste Valet. Uh, and he was the last commandant here in St. Genevieve, starting in 1804. So he was here when it was still transitioning uh, to American territory. Right. So he was the one who was helping to oversee that transition. Uh, and originally, the house was only four rooms. So you're standing in one of the original rooms. Uh, and then the two that are on the side of this one, and the one that kind of fills the corner, that checkerboard is the original four. The hallway was added later. And essentially they cut into the two sides to create that hallway. And if you stand in that hallway, there's a board that kind of cuts through and you can see that's where that original wall was. Uh, ah. So the explorers tell us quite a bit of a story about the house. Uh, the other bit of the story that they'll tell you is this rectangle along the side of the wall is the fireplace, or was the fireplace. Yeah. And then later, that hallway gets added, the fireplaces end up uh, getting moved, so there's one in each room on the side. Uh, and those are more American elements that come in after this house is uh, sold from the Valley family. Uh, and we, it's been American in territory, or American uh, part of the United States for much longer. Uh, so those elements start to come up more. And then in addition, you have art on the walls. That's all telling you more of the story of St. Genevieve. So we see a history of the houses through this artwork. The sketches are all done by Roscoe Misselhorn, starting, uh, goes essentially from the 30s up into the 70s or 80s. So you have a whole long span of multiple decades seeing the changes in these buildings through these pieces of art. One really cool comparison is uh, we have the Amaro House sketch above the mantel on the left here. A different artist 
did the, uh, a different sketch of the Amaro house. And so if you compare the two, you can see some of the changes. That are Where's the other one? Uh, the other one's in the hallway. Oh, okay.